Now that we have the constructor, let's look at how we create uh, an attribute in the core Perl. And let's look again the Moose version of the code. That's the code that we would like to be able to use. So calling the constructor, having uh, an object, and then calling the accessor, the setter, and providing it a value, the name setter, providing it a value, and then allowing it to be fetched using the same name. And uh, that was the code that was required in Moose. In Core Perl, we need the following. So we have the constructor, and we'll talk about it a little bit later. That what what we change, and this is the implementation of the accessor, which is a, also a getter and a setter. So the way it works is um, when you here. Let's go back. When you call this method, so the, first of all, the fact that this it wor this works is because the teacher is a, you remember it's a reference to a hash, but it's also a blessed reference. So if it wasn't blessed. Perl wouldn't know what to do with this arrow and the name here. Because it's blessed, and it's blessed into the person namespace, what Perl does is when it encounters this code, so a reference to a blessed something, blessed hash, uh, hash reference, uh, arrow name, it will look for the name function within this namespace, the person namespace. So let's go back here to the code. This is the person namespace, and Perl is looking for the name function. It's just the regular function, regular sub subroutine in Perl, and it will call that subroutine. Now, before calling that subroutine, let's go back here again. This will we provide van one value, but before uh, calling the subroutine, Perl arranges that this value, the dollar teacher, will be unshifted into here as the first element of the v parameters that are passed to this name subroutine. So what this name subroutine will get will be first the object itself, so that's a reference to the hash, and the second is the value in the setter, so that would be, what was that? Foo. Okay? So that will be come here. Now what we do here is usually we take it and assign. We need to assign it to some variables. Usually we assign the uh, the, the instance, the object, to a variable called dollar self. It's just uh, customary how people uh, write it in Perl. But you are free to use any name there. So there are some people who use it this because they are coming from other languages, or me because that's the, what their preference is. is. But I would recommend just using self because that's the most, most what most people use. Then what we do here is this is the part that we make differentiate between con uh, uh, setter and getter. If you wanted to use only a getter, then first of all we didn't use this dollar value part. We would just call uh, a return and return the the value. Now the actual attributes. We don't have any variable declared for the attributes, so the actual attributes in in a, an object are uh, saved inside that hash. So you remember the dollar self, the object itself, is a reference to a hash. So we are dereferencing here and putting the name of the attribute. Well, it's also name. So the name of the attribute, which is usually corresponding to the name of the uh, at, uh, accessor. So the name of the attribute and then assigning the value. So this is how you assign it and this is how you fetch the value. And uh, the difference again f between the setter part and the getter part is that we check here. Do we get two values here? So th did we get both the object and the value? If yes, so if this is true, then it's a setter. So we have to take the value, whatever we got, and assign to this uh, uh, variable or the slot in the hash, and in any case we just return that value. So this setter, just as the one in uh, Moose, the setter itself returns the actual value that you set, but if you don't provide any value here, then it will just return uh, the value. Now some people would uh, check whether value is defined or not, and based on that you would assign here the value. That's probably less good, because that would mean that you can't set an undef value into this name attribute. 
So basically that's it. That's how you write uh, attributes in Corporal.